right, we're loading up for the show. Getting our boxes and goods ready. Monica, are we ready for this show? Oh yeah. <laughs> Just about. Today we're gonna head to the convention center and set up the entire booth. That's it. All right, let's close it up. Woo! Time to hit the road. start another demo. Let's make some socks. What are we doing? We're gonna do some sock samples right here. Bless your feet. Come on over right now. See how to make the sock. 24 piece minimum on printed socks. Come watch it right now. All right. I'm gonna make these uh, red socks. They're called our red athletic uh, silky socks. So you can buy the blanks and make your own if you're a sublimation printer. So these are my sublimation transfers. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys on these socks. So, let me come over here. First thing I'm gonna do is throw away this craft paper and get a fresh sheet. All right, and we call this design Elmo Hoops. It's a little Elmo guy with a basketball nose. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my Silky Socks jig. So these are the inserts to be able to stretch the socks. You want to do this so you get a nice wearability when someone actually puts the sock on. So I'm just going to load this sock like this right onto my jig. Pull it up to this ink line. So I've reused this jig many times, so I'm just going to load to the same line every time. Make sure the sock is nice and straight. Tuck in my heel, and that one is ready to press. So I gotta find my other one. Uh, let's see, where did I put that? There it is. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. And once you once you do about ten pairs, you become a sock master. So. Don't worry, you can become a sock expert in just one day. All right, so you just wanna check that they're both kinda of even, even length and everything. And now they're pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna start with the back side, then we're gonna flip them over and I'll show you how to get rid of the line on the sides to do the front side. So we go like this. Got my transfer sheet here. I just wanna check that uh, the logos are centered if I have any logos on there and that the sheet covers the bottom, the sides, and the top. Then I will bring this press over, and I've got it set to 25 seconds. I'm gonna up that to 30 seconds. So it's set at 410 degrees and 30 seconds. So we recommend you start with about 30 to 35 seconds. Some guys do a little bit more than that, like sublimation, some people recommend like 50 to 60 seconds. It really depends on the ink you're using. Well, we always use about 25 to 30 seconds. All right, how am I doing? Doing pretty good. How's the pressure on there? Uh, it's a medium pressure. Right. You are an expert. <laughs> Thank you guys. And uh, we do have a Facebook group called Sublimation with Silky Socks. So I'm in there and a lot of other sublimation printers are in there engaging. Uh, Jessica, you're in there? Yeah. So definitely you can join our group and stay in touch with us. So. Sublimation with silky socks. All right, so now ready to reveal. Now. That is so cool. So cute, right? Okay, now check this out. We do what's called flip, switch. So I switch them, I flip them, and I roll them. Flip, switch, and roll. So that roll will connect the front and back, make it look like a seamless kind of sock. Yeah. So instead of a nasty white line, it'll become like a red on red, it'll get connected. Yeah. Just do that. And these jigs make it real easy. As you can see, I'm not really struggling too much with it. Um, I'm 
kind of used to the heat. It is a little warm, uh, but that five, 10 seconds let me kind of get, you know, get it cool enough where I could do this. And now as long as the design is facing up a little bit, you don't have to overdo it. You just do it just a tiny bit like that. And now it's ready to press the other side. Getting his other sheet. <laughs> Elmo hoops. There you go. All right, same thing. Cover the all sides. Make sure the front and back is covered. I mean, the top and bottom is covered. And ready to go. Has anyone here done socks? No. Have you? Going to. Going to. Do you have a sublimation right. printer, Mark? Absolutely not. I'm going to get them for you. Can get that too? Okay. He's like, I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> so you want to leave a cap on the wrong side of the border? Yeah, that's called the bleed area. Because if it was too close, then I'm risking missing some of it. So that extra gives you that bleed area. So he was talking about this extra. The, the transfer is a little bigger than the stock. And that's just your bleed area, so you don't actually miss the sock and like get a white area that you didn't cover. Yeah. Can you feel it hot, right? Yeah, can you feel that for me, Mark? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. That is unbelievable. Yes. Sir. Fantastic. Sir. Oh, yeah. Nice to finish. Other side. Very cute. Very nice. The line on the side is good. And then I'll, I'll peel it just like that, or I'll remove it just like that. So I like to just do it for a little bit from the top and then pull it from the bottom. It's still a little warm, it's a little hot. And there you have it. And for my spokesperson here. Give it a mark. Give it a mark. Awesome. That is awesome. I'm gonna buy some, dude. That is awesome. Look at these socks. I'm getting into the sock business after 30 years. Do it. That is awesome. No, I need to get some. Bless your feet. How'd you guys like the demo? Good, it's really good. It's good, yeah. Thank you. Are these in your kettle? Yeah, these are the leg sleeves. Um, these are the cleat covers, the spats, headbands. Uh, they're all going to be in the catalog when we get you one. So they're all going to be oh, they're in here, okay. right here. Yeah, these are the sleeves. And then these are the blank socks here. Okay. And the prices as well for the blanks. Yeah. All right, so I'm walking the show now. I'm just gonna go through some cool, notable booths here. We've got Mason Cap, hat supplier, and bags and notebooks and all kind of stuff. If you're in the apparel decorating industry, this is where you want to be. Everybody's out here, man. So it's a pleasure and a blessing that Silky Socks is part of this show as well. In Long Beach, the convention center. So yeah, I started coming to this show in about 2010. Every year, just walking, walking, exploring all the blanks that I could find for t-shirts, hoodies, jerseys, um, heat transfer, vinyl you know, different heat presses and just learning, learning, learning. And I was implementing them into my business. Got my YouTube is life socks on right now, guys. So watch me have it. So when I do like this, it looks like it belongs in there, right? Because like you this, know, YouTube is life. Right, let's right see what they're doing over here. So I'm just gonna grab my Man, my man's got right a here. crowd. And I'm gonna grab the outline of my uh, fork. Teaching some cool stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe one day I'm going to be up there giving speeches to tens, hundreds, thousands of people. But hey, right now I'm here practicing and, and working and grinding on YouTube. All right, let's get it. Bless your feet.
I'm gonna go have a little snack and chill out, get some coffee, and we will be back. Look who we found. Look who we found. It's Matt, up, man? PRW, how you doing? So the so nice. YouTube channel. Are you? If you don't know this guy, he's awesome. He's teaching and training and coaching all sorts of cool people in the business and we're inspired from him. So thank you, Matt. Nice meeting you and we'll see you soon. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Rhinestone World, cool booth. Sells a lot of rhinestone stuff. Yes, sir. Let me zoom into his logo real quick. TRW, the Rhinestone World, shout out to them. And yeah, man, industry support is awesome to make friends and acquaintances with different people that are doing cool stuff. And he is definitely one of them. So I'm about to get back to my booth. Let's make our way to the Silky Socks booth. Hey, hey how are you? Are you Good. filming now? Very, yeah, I'm actually filming for the YouTube channel. Oh, hey everyone! Hey. Wish you were here. Yes, yeah, great show. I right? just bought some socks. Okay, let's see which ones you, you got. Bless my feet. Okay, you got the Can Garden ones. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Um, I'm having a wardrobe malfunction, so I need to change my socks. Okay, are you coming tonight? To I get am. Together, you I are. Am. Yeah. And and have you been printing a lot of socks at your place too? I'm printing. I'm you not are? doing a lot yet, okay. but I'm printing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hi. This is my friend Marie and she's Hi, just Marie. starting out. Okay. She's another high school teacher. Awesome. So whatever Sherry knows, whatever you need to make socks, we'll help you out. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. So okay, we'll see you tonight. Thank you. Right, bye. <laughs> wow, we're everywhere. Let's go. And here we are at the booth. There's Natalie helping some customers out. There's Jay doing some transactions, bless boxes, and there's Monica doing her thing, helping customers out. Maybe I should get back to work right here, what do you think? Uh, I'm having too much fun doing this YouTube content. Let's see. How's it going, man? Good, good. How are you? Good, good, good. My guy Jay teaching you guys everything? Yeah, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty good. All right. You guys currently supplement? Uh, I'm getting into it because a couple of years ago I bought some socks from you. Oh, you did? Yeah. The white? Yeah, no, no. Uh, printed. Well, printed ones. And then I was like, because we have our own t shirt, and we're like, hey, how about we make some socks about t shirts? Okay. So yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. 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 All right, cool. And our YouTube channel has all sorts of content. Yeah, we've seen yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, they've seen me also on YouTube. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Jay, how's the show going for you? The show is amazing. We got a good big crowd, people buying, learning. Yeah? Are you working on your salesmanship? Yes, sir. <laughs> Slinging some socks? So my salesmanship's on point. I've been selling all day. <laughs> I'm going with Jay. He always comes to our events. It's awesome. The support is real. Uh, he's a full time in the accounting side of things for his actual job, but he helps us silky on events and weekends, and uh, we're happy to have him. Of course, anytime, bro. Yes, sir. Alright guys, welcome to Silky Socks, the ISS show. I'm about to do a live demo. We're going to make our black athletic socks and we're going to sublimate from the ankle up. I've got this blue transfer sheet here. We call it the blue swirls. So we're going to get it going and uh, let's see how it comes out. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, Alright, let's go. So, first thing I'm going to do is load onto my jigs. These are the Silky Socks jigs that we also supply. Uh, so what you want to do is I can print this two ways. I could load it directly like this and then the logo will be on the sides Or I could simply turn it like this and then load it and then the logo will be on the front and back So the same sock same jigs you can use for either front and back layout or a side to side layout So what I want to do is load it up until like that that width area and tuck in my heel and so it won't stretch out the foot it'll just stretch out that top for good maximum wearability and I'll load it to the same ink line every time so I can reuse the jigs over and over and just as long as I load it to that ink line it's not going to bleed on the inside of the sock so I just want to make sure everything's nice and straight check the front and back looks good check the bottom and that one's good to go all right so same thing with this one I'm going to turn the sock again like so and load it just like that from the bottom. I like to load the bottom and then pull up and 
Once you teach someone how to do it, I say it takes about five pairs to become a sock master. So, there you go. So you want to just make sure they look the same in terms of length and everything. Then, then I'm going to put it on my heat press. And I'm going to... I'm going to just put them in the same spot that last pair was made and that should be fine. If I wanted to swap out my craft paper for like, let's say a design with a white background, I could do that. But in this case, I'm good to go. So, here's the first side. I will just lay it down on the sock and check that both logos are centered. And that the bottom is covered, the right side is covered, the left side is covered, and the top is covered. And then it is good to go. Just make sure everything's flat. Push it in. And give it a go. So I've got it set at 410 degrees and 30 seconds. Uh, we usually recommend about 400 degrees and 30 seconds to start. And then we're going to do our classic flip switch and roll technique, which I'll show you guys. That'll avoid the white line on the sides. Has anyone here ever made socks? You guys have. Yeah, anyone else? Okay, you have. That's Sublimation and More, Facebook group owner right there. No, I'm just a member. You're a member, okay. <laughs> so here we go. All right, so first side done. Just gonna peel that away. Look at that. So now I'm going to do my flip, switch, and then I'm going to roll up the sides. Just like that, just a little bit to roll up that white line right there. Do it on both sides. So, see that? That was very easy to do. I'll do this on this other sock. I can even do both sides at the same time, just like that. It's a little bit hot. My hands are pretty much used to it there. There we go. So you just want to do it enough where the overlap is like facing upwards and then the other side is just going to connect right to it. Another transfer sheet and here we go. Oh, so you see, uh, I just follow that same process every time. The athletic sock that we carry now is available in 11 different foot colors. So I'm doing that black foot, but you can also get it in a red foot, blue foot, etc. As you see on our table over there. And what's cool about the athletic sock is this foot material is cotton. So it remains thick and keeps you soft and comfortable when you're wearing it. Um, yeah, and then you only need to print from the ankle up. So even a 15 by 15 or a small heat press can handle this sock. You see, this material is made of 90% cotton. So you can't sublimate on the foot, but you can sublimate from the ankle up. And there's the final result right there. They are very comfortable socks. Oh, he's wearing <laughs> his right there. I wear it all the time. Yes, sir. What kind of template do you use for the... Uh, you made those, right? Yeah, my yes, wife sir. made these ones. Okay, okay. She makes all my socks now. I haven't bought a pair since she started making socks. <laughs> okay, and give, give us a shout out. What's, uh, I mean, what's your... Introduce yourself. I'm Michael. Uh, we're um, iDesign uh, Creations. We're new, so... Um, <laughs> Okay. And uh, we get our socks from Silky Socks. Appreciate it. And him and his wife are in our Facebook group. So definitely you want to join our Facebook group. We're engaging with you guys and teaching. It's called Sublimation with Silky Socks. So now that it's been about 15 to 20 seconds, I can unload. So I like to pull down from the top and just give it a smooth unload. And again, pull down from here and just smooth unload. And because of that stretch, now I have good wearability when I actually wear it on my leg. And that's basically it. I can fold, fold them like so. And they all, all our blanks come with an individual bag on the side. So when you're done, you'll just bag it and it's ready to ship out. Ooh. Bless your feet. Bless your feet. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, the show is over, guys. It was a amazing, packed three days of an energy, excitement. A lot of people from YouTube and Facebook that recognized us coming to the show. A lot of demos, live, and uh, we had a great time. Sold a lot of blanks and met a lot of cool people. Our meetup Saturday night was awesome. So we're gonna finish packing up this booth. And until next time, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit up the Facebook group Sublimation with Silky Socks to keep in touch with us and bless your feet. I'm out. Are we out of here, guys? Soon, soon. Soon. Sure. I want the game. <laughs> yeah. Great show. Great job, team. Great job, Monica. Thanks. Time to pack up these beautiful silky socks. Yeah.